What's up everyone? Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like and subscribe and then hit the real subscribe button, which is the bell icon. We're posting four videos every day, so make sure to check back every single day. We've just hit 20k subscribers, so thank you all so, so much. Let's get to 30k and get a deal in the description if you haven't already. Plenty of free crypto and goodies down there. This is not financial advice. Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Let's begin. What's up guys, so just before we begin, make sure to hit the subscribe and the bell icon. People aren't seeing our content and this is probably because you haven't hit the bell icon. Thank you again for all your support. The algorithm is slamming a lot of content creators right now, so we really appreciate all your support. And we're so proud of the amazing community that we've built. So make sure to jump into the Telegram and the free Discord. So just taking a quick look at Polygon here and as we can see, looking as though essentially, oh let me just delete all of these little label things that I don't like. I'm just trying out this new RSI, but it's got these little labels that I don't want. I'm just going to, uh, I can't remember how to hide them now. Here we go. I'm just going to, um, yeah, get rid of those. So as you can see, obviously Polygon doing extremely well. Macro time scale looking really good. As we said, as always, uh, let me just make this a bit smaller. These indicators taking up my whole screen. <clears throat> you can see here the massive coil motion, as we said. Numerous, numerous times. The breakout and the back test looking perfect on that one, on the 0618 as well. And you know, since we bottomed out here, we've been making higher highs and higher lows all the way up like this. Looking really, really good, to be honest, aren't we? Looking like we're forming this massive cup formation looking something like this. And we've come down now. We might actually sweep some of the lows, get the handle, and then get that massive blow off top that we're looking for for Polygon pretty soon. You can see quite clearly that we are starting to, you know, do something like this, where the curve is becoming more and more parabolic. Obviously, if that continues, we're going to see some really, really nice movements for Polygon fairly soon. Obviously, recently, as we said, we've dropped out of that range that we were in for a good while. Just heading sideways, weren't we? Doing something like this, you know, potentially, as everyone said, there was a head and shoulders formation like this. That we actually did see, you know, get the breakdown and the actual target met of coming down to around that $2 level. Obviously, $2 being a big psychological support. You can see we were in a range here for a good while, basically waiting to see what the market was doing. The volume was dropping off. And then obviously with Bitcoin rolling over, we came down and found support here at around that $2 level. As we said, Polygon looking really good at that $2 level. We do think it's going to continue to perform very, very well, holding support really nicely. As we said, we did want to see some levels being back tested before continuation because that's what's Polygon. That is what Polygon has been doing for essentially, you know, the past few months really hasn't it it comes up it comes down to support comes up comes down to support comes up comes down to support you can see this e previous area here between that two dollar area and that 222 swing high that's here being thoroughly re retested here by this uh, recent swing low that we've seen for polygon if we come down here you can see it that we've actually got you know we've basically come down just chopping it sideways right now trying to figure out what to do we come all the way down wicked perfectly onto this level here that we talked about that we have retested that we have drawn in here um, and basically got a nice little bounce in that area because of that haven't we probably because it's a front row of the two dollar level in our opinion but you can see here obviously polygon looking like it's showing signs of doing something like this potentially where it's just kind of starting to bottom out chop sideways like this <clears throat> and basically just waiting for you know the market to calm down before probably getting that bounce to the upside there's a lot of demand for polygon right now it's pretty obvious when you look at the chart every single time that we have a decent dip we do get it bought, bought up very, very quickly. You can see what happened on the 4th of December where we had that big correction for Polygon. We had a huge, huge wick all the way back up above the 0.78 there. An incredibly, incredibly bullish thing to see. We come up, we come back down again to test support, but every single time we come down, you can see all of these big wicks. Wick here, wick here, wick here, wick here. I mean, you can see all these areas where we come back down to support, there's a lot of buying pressure for Polygon, isn't there? And that's because, you know, it's a top quality project that's getting a lot of use. So we'd say overall Polygon, a really good project, looking really strong technically, probably going to continue to do well into 2022, we would say. And then we could look at short term price predictions. So if we roll over, obviously that $2 level we'd expect to hold. And we do have a Fibonacci level, that 078, I believe it's the 078, yep. Yeah at around that 195 area, as always, would be a very, very nice place to find a bounce if we had that overextension to the downside for Bitcoin. I mean, you can see just how horribly overextended we are right now. To the downside for, I mean, on Polygon, 
we're still looking pretty healthy in terms of our RSI. But I mean, just on the hourly time frame here, obviously, if we had the price action come down here, we'd have some really big bullish divergences, wouldn't we? And you would very likely see a bounce if that was the case. If we look at Bitcoin quickly, you can see, you know, a very similar thing for Bitcoin right now. Massive bullish divergence here, as you can quite clearly see. Bullish divergences on the hourly time frame here on the RSI and on the histogram. Price action is trying to go to the downside, but, you know, it's losing momentum, isn't it? This is just a, a complete fear and capitulation fear and capitulation kind of role here and we would expect to you know to see a bounce on this quite soon you can see there's an even larger bullish divergence from this area here down to this area here you know you can see this basically we're making higher lows on our rsi and we're making lower lows on our price action you know this is just getting pretty ridiculous now isn't it and we are expecting a really big reaction for bitcoin soon if that's the case obviously that's going to see polygon coming back up as well you can see we've come down here to around this previous wick didn't we and now looking like we're coming down retesting this area I mean, there's a, I mean, you know, we talk about bullish divergences. This is an even bigger bullish divergence right here. RSI moving to the upside. Price action coming to the downside. I mean, look at that. Look at the histogram. Look at this histogram. These divergences don't lie. These, you, like 99% of the time, these will come into fruition sooner rather than later. And I mean, you can see here, the di di divergences right now are crazy, aren't they? And we are expecting, you know, Bitcoin to have a really big, reaction and potentially a short squeeze pretty soon in our opinion and obviously if that's the case we've all seen polygon coming back to the upside so if we're heading to the upside as we said we want to retest the bottom of that previous range which was a previous supporters resistance at that 242 level and then beyond that as we've always said you know we're getting close now aren't we to that price target that we do have for polygon of five to ten dollars by the end of the bull run you know the bull run is not over we don't think by any stretch of the imagination the lengthening cycle theory seems to have more and more credence by the day. With Bitcoin, obviously, you're not really having any parabolic moves. Looking quite flat, really. Underperforming a lot of people's expectations. And, you know, doing things that it has, we haven't seen in previous cycles. So that lengthening cycle theory could obviously come into play there. And if that's the case, I mean, we could be looking at, you know, maybe even three, six, maybe even another year of bull market, depending on how long things do, you know, come down and sideways and continue. So... It remains to be seen what's going to happen, but we do think, you know, this year in 2022, we're probably going to see five to ten lots for Polygon. You know, it's a really strong project. The fundamentals are really solid. And we do think, you know, realistically, we're probably going to see some more upside for it. So I'd like to thank everyone so much for their support. If you've got any questions or suggestions, please leave them down below. And don't forget to subscribe and then hit the real subscribe button, which is the bell icon to stay up to date with four videos we post every single day. Remember, if you want to support the channel more directly and get a ton of benefits and insight, as well as joining our growing community, consider the Patreon or YouTube membership down below. There are three tiers giving you access to our private Discord. Crypto Supporter is available if you just want to help us out a small amount. Crypto Maximalist is our main tier, which gives you access to detailed daily technical analysis and signals, weekly and monthly coin calls, and insights into our personal moves, while Maximalist Gold takes it a step further giving you an insight into our personal portfolio tracker, super low cap gem research, and a 100x portfolio we're constructing and updating, and access to us personally as a resource to discuss your portfolio via Messenger. Make sure to check it out. You can also sign up to our free Telegram and public Discord via the description as well. All the links are in the description for affiliate links for discounts and free crypto, so go check them all out below. There's plenty of goodness on offer. Please like and subscribe. We are... Crypto Maximus.